Hello everyone, this is Antarion and we are back. Um, I didn't really do that much since last time I actually played. Basically we've just um, scouted a bit the city, found a few pieces of uh, meat, actually and a bit of gold in one of the uh, barrels within the city and that was about it. Now I don't have that many arrows, I don't know what I'm going to find within the city, so I'm gonna take three more, give it to the archer, because I don't have that many arrows left. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, buy some more, or maybe find some more, we'll see how it goes. Um, another thing be that, well if you're gonna hear like a loud slap is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be me fi uh, hunting the spiders. Uh, the spiders, oh my god. The mosquitoes. Oh, well, spiders, mosquitoes, pretty close, right? Okay, the the thing is, this episode is mostly going to be uh, foraging or roaming actually around um, uh, the city. We'll see what we find, what quest we're going to get, and I don't know if we're gonna have that much else or uh, so, so much else apart from that. We'll see. Yeah, I don't want to read this name. Big Lesby, I guess it's his name. I ain't got no time for no interrogation. Go away. Okay, I'm leaving or do die. Drayden, hey there. Can you train us in lockpicking? Oh, I'm locking him already. There's barter. Anything new around these parts? Who? What do you do here? Okay, let's see what the new thing. I recently heard about a small bandit settlement somewhere along the Mooncrest Markzachen border. I'm thinking of heading out there one of these days and checking it out. Another thing. You train us. Sure can. Which one of you will uh, it be training? Uh, arrow point would be the one. Let's see how much does he actually ask for. Not so much. You could afford one training but that's going to give us like one point we're in dire need that my, of money at first so I'm not gonna go about it I'm gonna spend my money that way I think he had something else let's barter let's see what he actually has to sell oh nice items oh my god a lot of arrows a lot of lockpicks ring of tree altivery oh yeah and by the way I actually found an amulet where is that amulet I found the fish as well. Well, I don't want to sell that. But I would like to sell this though. Does he take them? There we go. A bit more gold, not bad. I do want a lot of these. Like a lot of them. Uh, I would go with full maybe even. Let's go with 40. That's 40 pieces of gold, not bad. I'm Gonna, I'm gonna buy all of them. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find some in the world, but until then, I'm gonna just buy them all. I have a decent amount of money left, anyways. Uh, leather. This is a chest piece. Armor only one, but two to lock picking. Not bad. Uh, its value is not that big, but I'm just going to look at it. I'm not going to take it. The ring, though. Pickpocketing and lockpicking, not bad at all. And more pickpocketing and more lockpicking. Pretty interesting stuff over here. I'm hoping I can find some of those type of items within the world as well. Now we can actually move about our inventory. Let's give the archer, uh, I guess, well, the arrows, right? It has like most of the ingredients. I guess I should spread them around a bit maybe, give the mage a few of them. Let me spread a bit heavier. Food wise, i pretty decent. Okay, one, one, one. Okay, interesting. Let's see this dude's weight. He's staying pretty good actually. Much better than, uh, than our filmer, our archery type. There, there we go. Ingredient wise And we pretty much talked with everybody at the tavern. Okay, get out We've uh, seen all the um, Wow, I, for a second I thought he was coming at us 
for sale. Oh, the house for sale. That's locked. It requires a key. Okay. What else? What's this? Beagle's by... Beagle SB's house. Oh, he's at the tavern. Don't mind if I do go in. Can we close the door? Apparently we can, but we did find some food. Ah, uh, let's give it to her. I don't think he has like anything else left. Yeah, that was about it. Well, as long as he's not mad, I don't mind if I'm gonna take his stuff. Vincent's books. Kinda interesting. Let's see what. Ooh. He has a chest. Hoping I'm going to pull. Okay. Apparently, there's a bag on the. F on the um, uh, well, the table, but you can't really get it. This one's locked. Requires a key, so I'm gonna have to pickpocket him to actually get it. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Uh, hey there, what can I do for you? How does one make a living selling books? I'd like to buy some books. Let's see what we can actually get from him. So, if we can get a fireball. But I don't have uh, black magic. Uh, weak hitting potion, alchemy, mana potion, a web, also black magic, uh, a viger potion, weak viger potion, polymorph, gray magic, history of Antarion, history of Astralin. Okay, so. Uh, could get some stuff from him, but unfortunately it's not really going to work with us because we don't have the required uh, skill for it. Let's see how he actually makes a living out of selling books. An astute question indeed. I uh, benefit from a uh, demand side deficiency. What now? Side uh, deficiency, okay. You see in Ontario, and there are quite a number of affluent scholarly type pumping out book after book, year after year. Unfortunately for these authors, there are very few actual buyers. Ontario's economy is based on farming and labor. Average Ontarianite simply cannot read. So what happens then is that these authors pay me to stock their books. Uh, so how do they get the money though? So you sell them uh, shelf space knowing that their books won't sell. Uh, it's not quite as uh, nefarious as you make it sound. You see they purchase shelf space so they then bring their uh, king's folk in here to show off the fact that they've been published. It's something of a badge of honor across Ontario's small but very local Reddit community. Why just one other day? Uh, just the other day, not one day. <laughs> I had a young elven woman in here trying to convince me to carry a vanity novel about her short and completely unnotority life. Her book was so atrocious that you couldn't sell it as doorstop, <laughs> doorstop in a free market. Nonetheless, this isn't a free market and she has the coin so I agree to carry her abomination of a book. Okay. I got it now. Okay, and we're supposed to leave because we don't really have what else to do. Well, no mind if we do. We kind of figure out what's with all the books. Let's see what this dude has to say because I didn't really see her era the other day over here or just a few moments ago. Hello there. What do you do around here for fun? Do you enjoy living in Astralin? How do you make a living? Let's go with that. Uh, Astralin 1. And only real estate agent. Oh, so she can actually sell us the house. How how's the market here faring? Do you have any appro uh, what now? Properties for sale in Australia. One more thing. If she has, because well, basically we've just seen it. For me, uh, great. So how she actually faring? Great for me, anyways. Currently, it's a seller's market. There's just so much demand for Australian seaside cottages and so little supply at the moment okay um, let's go with uh, what was she for fun 
I can tell you what I don't do. I stay as far away from the seaside heaven as possible. It's a rat's den full of the slimiest clients you've ever seen. Late at night, there's drunk fools. Uh, these drunk fools awaken me by banging on my door and windows. And don't even get me started on what it's going to or what's doing to the property values around here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how do we make a living and then do you have any properties to sell? Let me see. I do in fact uh, the house just to the southeast of here with the four uh, for sale sign <laughs> is on the market for a lot of gold that I don't have. <laughs> it's a terrific little, it's a terrific, yeah, little started starter home. I really think you'll love it. Yeah, I can't really afford it, so yes, bye bye. Well, well remember that. We're supposed to come back probably and do our worst to it. So this one's for selling. Uh, this is the workhouse. This is Hera's house. Okay, she's not at home. We can go in and pretty much blind her. Uh, not blind. Uh, rob her blind. Oh, it's a medium lockpick. I have like no pretty much any chance to uh, pick that one up. And we also found a banana with your food value, but if we take it, she may get mad. I have like no clue what's that what's going to happen if she actually gets mad. She's probably not gonna see us doing it, so we could do it anyways. I'm not gonna take her banana though, not yet. Abandoned house. It's an easy lock pick, but we don't have that much chance to open it, unfortunately. We probably would have found some great stuff within. Hildred's house. Animals is inside, of course it is. How else would have been able to rub a blind? We're looking for work, greetings. I can tell you a little about yourself, don't really care. How about we go for work directly? Why, there's always work to be done around here. I'm trying to bake a crab cake and cheese souffle using a recipe I purchased from Mason Books. My only trouble is that this recipe calls for 10 pieces of crab meat. Crab meat is something of a delicacy, delic delicacy around these parts and I'm certainly not in any shape to go around hunting crab myself. If you'd be willing to bring back 10 pieces of, uh, of pieces for me, I'd certainly be more than willing to reward you, with, uh, reward you well for your efforts. Sure thing, why not? Uh, excellent! You'll uh, find crabs all around the coast of uh, Moncres province. Uh, when they're finished, when you're finished, just bring the crab meat back to me. I'll be right here. Uh, safe travels. I have some crab meat on me. I have like no clue how much though. Let's count it out. I have like three pieces over here. Three here, so six. And I think that's about it. So I have six pieces of crab meat. I'm gonna have to find myself some crabs. And I'm not gonna go... Uh, actually see if she has anything for us to get but don't tell me I'm too far away yeah actually it was too far away from that recipe of strong mana potion not bad not bad at all can we take the chicken yeah apparently we can't well I wouldn't really want to get her chicken anyway actually I would have but I can't Dar Dzarik house okay I'm guessing this is Dzarik no this is Baylor okay so he's inside. Doesn't seem too happy to see us though. Ooh! History of Antarium, Volume 1. And a quill, which we don't really care about. I don't want to write like anything. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Get out of here at once, and we just are going to leave. Apparently, he doesn't really like strangers in the house. Who would? Right? This is Administration Office. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I kinda wanna see this little house here over here. Lauren's boat, boat shop, okay. And Lauren's at home, of course he is. But apparently his room is sort of unlocked. It's a very hard lock, okay. Now I know what's in what, uh, why is, isn't it uh, locked. Wow, that's a lot of uh, value over there. And some armor, don't mind if I do, it's not uh, um, colored in red either. So I don't think he minds the fact that we just took his slippers. Where are the slippers though? What in God's name? Didn't I take the slippers? That's sort of weird. Oh, there they are. Didn't oh, yeah. 
We also found this common lead necklace. It doesn't do anything. It's just pretty much for sale, and I'm kind of wanting to. I'm going to want to sell it. But until then, let's uh, increase our armor a bit. There we go, nice and tidy. Let's put the food that way. And let's see if he actually has anything of interest inside his uh, bookshelf. The Golden Miniax. Right click to read. I don't think he's going to mind if we take his gold either, to be honest. I don't know about those things. I kinda ha I'm gonna have to experiment. But I'm gonna experiment off camera because I'm gonna do it after I save. And then I'm gonna see how it goes. Let's see what he has to say for himself. You look like you could use a boat, just a lot of money, which I really don't have. This is for this beauty. Yeah, how's business? Uh, never been better. The Shadowbrook Massacre has been a real boom to our business. It seems that people fear a similar attack could take place in Astrid. And it just so happened that the boat offers the quickest means of escape in an emergency. Yeah, great. So you sort of prey on the can oh whatever well I, I guess as long as the business is flourishing you know okay so we've seen this house left with this one this is the armory oh no Ferusha's house oh it really is Ferusha fearsome I like fierce the medium type of lock isn't really gonna cut it with the skill that I have so far Nothing to take from the small counter or whatever you want to add. Okay, let's go with Ferush, let's see what she has to say for herself. You'll have to excuse Falcone, he believes clothing to be unnatural and refuses to wear any around the house. Well, at least he wears it outside. Perhaps we could persuade Falcone to put on some clothing, probably not. Uh, why are your weapons drawn? Haven't you heard about Shadowbrook? Well, I heard that As Astrin is going to be next, and since we can't afford the boat to escape, in, uh, we're simply going to have to defend our home ourselves. One more thing. Perhaps we can actually persuade him. Probably not, because uh, my persuasion is like nothing. Oh, uh, would you do that? That would be quite wonderful, though. I'll warn you that I've been... Uh, Pestering him about it for years to, to no avail. True, we'll convince we're going to put on some clothes. Yeah, let's go with that, but we're probably not going to be able to do it. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, now we're going to leave. Let's talk with Falcone and see how he's going to refuse us. Yeah, I'm nude, so what? Ain't you ever seen an elf in the nude before? Why, it's the most natural state of affairs. If the gods didn't want us being nude, they'd certainly have uh, burdened us with some fine garments on. He has a point there. Uh, we think it's time for you to put on some clothes. Persuasion, yeah, that would be something I've actually succeeded. Uh, why is your weapon drawn? Let's go with that. We're not going to allow whatever destroyed Shadowbrook to destroy our home. No way. I don't think you're gonna have a choice, to be honest. Let's try to persuade him. That was actually successful. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, um, talk me into it. I think everybody can actually put clothes on him if he actually was that easy to persuade. Let's uh, give the quest back, I guess. Uh, I don't know how in the world you convinced Falcone to put on some clothing. You're quite the charmer. Yeah, not so much. I will promise you that. This just was a sort of a happenstance. Must have uh, rolled the dice the right way or something. Well. It got some exp come on move out of the way. Uh, we've got some experience with clothed uh, unclothed dude. Not too bad. There we go, an egg. It was good. I don't know why I gave it to him though. Chicken And that seems to be about it. Only one nest. So uh, the eggs are actually ingredients, they should stay on the two that wears the, well, the chicken eggs, which is the mage, the rest seems to be just about fine. I'm guessing the torches are going to be for more light within uh, camps, uh, within dungeons, but I guess uh, uh, at the end of it we're actually going to see that they are truer. 
lot of stuff that we're going to take he's going to get annoyed apparently let's actually talk with him see what he is all about and we almost uh, did the entire village come back during business hours oh come on really you have like business hours why aren't you, why aren't you then sleeping or something so you can make my job easier when i rob you blind oh the armory let's actually see come on move what the armorer has to give us for selfless. Well, cape of strength, not bad. Two strength, I like that. A lantern. Don't mind if I do. This is unidentified though. And right click to identify it. Whatever means those those would be. Very easy lock with a lot of chance, but not enough to be if you ask me. Oh we're not open, come back tomorrow. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna come back daylight, probably. Uh, we're probably gonna go off camera and visit uh, the, the shops. Training hall, okay. Here we go, range, melee, and spell lines. I guess it was to be expected. Mm, tainted shoes, they're gonna be good for selling, but if it's a stolen good, I don't know if you can actually sell anything, honest. Apart from that, there, they didn't give me better armor than what I already have. Let's talk with him. I know why you're here. You wish me to train you in the art of archery. Not so much. Yes, we'd like to train. Let's see how much it costs. So if we go with the arrow point, which is the one... Oh, so the first point of training always seems to cost the same. Because we were at level 20 or 25 in archery with arrow points, so... I would have guessed it would have been much higher than lockpicking. The other skill we actually tried to learn about. Or maybe every time you learn it's only 185 gold pieces. Who knows? We're gonna see on the long run, I guess. I'm not gonna invest in that. I'm guessing he can actually train me in one-handed weapons. Yeah. And the mage. Come on, move. Okay. And I'm going to... What? Learn in what? White magic. Okay, so basically he either he either really is just white magic, or he's going to train you in every type of uh, magic he wants. So from here on out, since there's like the end of the uh, the the city, have cultures over here. Can we get something? Really? This. Uh, Plants, apparently nothing. Okay. This should be Baylor's house. I think we've talked to him already. Maybe yes, maybe no. Who knows? They seem to have like everything opened. The gold seems to be there. So I'm thinking that everything that's not red, nobody's really going to care if you take it. Everything that is red, it's owned and you're gonna have a problem. Especially if they see you or find you with them, I guess. Hmm. What do you do around here? Can you tell me about Astrolane? Hear any good rumors? Let's go with the rumors. Ibedor here, Miss Luna makes good drink. Better like drink. Better like Miss Luna. I'm hoping she's Miss Luna. <laughs> Thank you for that awful conversation. I think it's run. Uh, did he say like a run? Uh, what do you do around here? Better no understand. Rush. Whatever. Oh, oh, better like run. Better run. Yeah, you keep on running. Run, forest, run. I think that's what they're actually trying to pull. I don't think. I really can't talk. What? Because it's dark? Oh well. If she can talk. If she can talk, well, then she can't really talk. Oh, come on. Apparently, my first dude part is always going to move first, which is sort of good. Not so much when he's behind the door, though. Oh, we have... Minister, whatever that is. But it does seem to have... Small... Uh, well, the garbage we don't really care about, to be honest. The roots, though, are decent. We have a few right now. Not so much weight. Oh, this is where the flower was. Okay. Get the flower, give it to the right guy then. Okay, nice and dandy. He did something. I 
I'm guessing this is his bag. They can know it if we take this. So much appear apparently. I don't really care. So I found like the like the poorest beggar of them all and then stole from him. Yeah, ain't I like uh, I don't know. I would say wise, but <laughs> that would be just <laughs> Oh well. At least they did something, I guess. Let's talk with him, let's see what he has to say for himself. Distract me as, uh, me as adventuring and treasure seeking type. Just so you so happen I know where a treasure is to be found and could tell you for a modest fee of course. And probably when we get there he's going to jump our bones and going to make like an ambush and get everything we own. What kind of uh, fee are we talking about? Why should we believe you? Ha! Ah, if you really know, knew it of a treasure you'd surely claim it for yourself. Yeah, let's go with that. I would if I could, but unfortunately, and maybe fortunate for you, this treasure sits on an island and I can't afford financially or physically a long journey at sea. Okay, so what kind of fee are we talking about? Luckily for you, I am a man of modest taste, so all that I'll ask for is uh, uh, for in the way of fees is four bottles of vintage wine. Really? We have I have like none. <laughs> You should be able to find some at the Hardbury Tavern in Hartshire. Oh, all the way to Hartshire, okay. I'm gonna say no for now. I'm gonna remember him though. And who knows what else are we going to do. Now really far into the episode as it is, we already seem to found like three enemies, probably crabs. We'll see, we need to find, fight other crabs to get their meat and pieces of it. We have six so far, we'll see how it goes. With that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like and you'll see more subscribe and I guess I'm going to see you guys next time.